The country and its neighbors in this part of the Southeast Pacific celebrates an auspicious event today. Seven years past the golden founding of the economic and cultural alliance known as the ASEAN. And as Malaysia is poised to take over the ASEAN's chairmanship next year, the country has thrown its full support to Kuala Lumpur, where Denise Osorio is right now. And she's live via phone patch. Good evening, Denise. William, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, celebrated their 57th foundation anniversary today here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, emphasizing connectivity and resilience to strengthen unity, diversity, and the path forward to overcome current and future challenges. Deputy Foreign Minister Datuk Mohammed bin Haji Alamin expressed the importance of tourism amongst ASEAN members, as it is the most stable foundation of a diverse, strong, and more resilient ASEAN community. In ASEAN, we also promote interaction between our peoples through various areas, including in culture, youth, education, and sports. As a reflection to this, today we will be celebrating our region's cultural diversity through culture performances and cuisines. According to the Embassy of the Philippines, they are in full support of the initiatives of Malaysia towards their chairmanship for 2025. We learn a lot from what Malaysia will be doing and what ASEAN will be accomplishing uh, over its uh, uh, next year when Malaysia takes over the chairship. As you see for this uh, anniversary now, the theme is connectivity and resilience and that will continue, I think. That's a running thread through, it, through ASEAN right now that we will <laughs> Uh, Bill Bon uh, when we take over the chairship in 2026. Philippine Ambassador to Malaysia Maria Angela Ponce also emphasized the importance of peace, security, and the socio-economic development discussed by President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. and Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar bin Ibrahim. As stated by Ponce, one of the priorities is to broaden the establishment of a more halal-friendly Philippines with the help of Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia is a trailblazer uh, in uh, halal, the halal industry and we very much want to learn from them, get get their best practices. So the halal uh, industry, it comes it's not just on food uh, and on agriculture, but also on you know uh, tourism cooperation, strengthening that, so that then we can also uh, you know be able to attract uh, the uh, you know what you say halal tourism. This 2024, the Philippines not only celebrates a diamond anniversary of diplomatic relations with Malaysia, it also celebrates its 15th year of permanent mission in the ASEAN. Permanent representative of the Philippines to the ASEAN Ambassador Jaceline Quintana hosted a special dinner gala last night at the ASEAN headquarters in Jakarta, Indonesia. According to ASEAN Secretary General Dr. Kao Kim Horn, the Philippines is a key player in ASEAN's community development initiatives and continues to lead the region in fostering unity among its member states. The ASEAN Day signifies the region's joint dedication to development and unity, reinforcing the ties that connect Southeast Asia to a dynamic and constantly evolving global landscape. Reporting live from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Denise Osorio from the National Television Network for a new and better Philippines.